Dear brothers. I am Atama. Today we are going to comment on Chapter 6 of Book 3 of Telos. Once again, Aurelia has a conversation with the dragon Antharus. And the focus of this conversation is magic. This has already been mentioned previously, but it never hurts to reinforce this topic. His children's stories always show beings of all types. There are those whose hearts are closely linked to magic, who tell the stories of these beings that you used to call legends. But today with the expansion of consciousness, you are beginning to be sure that they were not invented stories, they were stories from the very souls of those who wrote them. We have already said this here, that we appreciate some things that are made in your dimension, and even some films that show an ancient era, without dates, but an era of a lot of struggle, of many wars, and especially of a lot of magic, I would say you can look at these films and see 50% of the truth. Unfortunately, these films bring fear to many, and of course they couldn't help but have something ingrained there that would make that fear grow. But for those who have a living heart, they look at these films and somehow see themselves in them. It's as if a return to the past happened. Most of those who are here listening to me lived in the Dark Ages, where black magic reigned. Power for power's sake was a normal thing to happen, hence so many wars. The growth of domains was the reason for the lives of those in positions of power. And in a way the world you see today was created this way, the kingdoms, the territories, everything was born from these invasions and these wars. But I'm not here to talk about wars, I'm just commenting on the magic that existed at that time. So in addition to the living beings that fought among themselves, there were beings that were summoned by black magic. You lived through this time, and many, as I said, see themselves in some of the scenes you see in these films. But where do I want to get to? I want to bring you in truth, everything you have ever experienced, the magic you experienced. Not just the childish magic that Antharus talks about with Aurelia, but the magic that dominates, the magic that kills, the magic that destroys. It is important that each of you accept, within your heart, what you did a long time ago. I can say here that almost all of you were magicians at one time. Some worked with black magic, and over time their souls evolved and began to work with clean magic, of light. This was an evolution of their souls. You need to be aware that you cannot judge anyone. In fact, this has been said for a long time. You condemn the brothers of your world, but I can tell you that many have done much worse things. So the time has come to look at magic, and understand that it does give power, but it needs to be used with love, with a lot of love. So what I want to bring to you is not to say that there are fairies, elves, unicorns, you already know that. What I want to bring you today is that you have magic in your hearts. You lived it. You worked with her. So the time has come for you to resume everything you did back there, everything you learned back then. Their souls know the formulas, the paths, the correct words, but to act in clean magic, in the magic of light. As Antharu said, dragons are very allies in this sense, because they work with the four elements. And you can work too. You just need to believe in it, you just need to believe that you have this power in your hands. Start using the magic you have within. Find the way to get to it. Ask the higher self to show each of you the path to reach magic, to learn how to deal with it. It is not a punishment, as many say, it is something innate in your souls, it is something that you can use for your own benefit, as long as you never at any time affect anything or anyone. It is only for your own benefit and to help others. Never go the other way, because then you will be using black magic again. Do this retrospective in your souls. Ask the higher self for help. Ask your Akashic masters for help. Ask the dragons for help. But as Antharu said, be careful when calling for a dragon. Your heart needs to be immersed in the light. Ask your higher self to bring a dragon to help you it will know who will come. I'm not saying this to make you afraid, but you need to be careful, attentive. But the time has come for you to use your magic. The time has come for you to help Gaia. The time has come for you to help your brothers. You have this awareness. You were wizards once. And no, 
there's no point in saying, no, I wasn't that. He was. You all experienced magic, because it existed, it was not a chosen thing, it simply existed. So use it for your own benefit, to help you on this journey, but always with requests from the heart, always with requests that make progress. You can ask for whatever you want, but never forget, every action always has a reaction. Can you ask for wealth? They can, as long as they use this wealth properly, not just out of greed. So my brothers, start dealing with your own magic. Start acting through magic, and you will see how your path will become a little more childish, a little lighter, because when you activate magic, all the beings that you think or once thought were legends, will come to meet them to help them reborn that inner child that played with them without any type of fear or any other negative feeling. Let yourself be carried away by the magic. But never forget, every action always has a reaction.